this week's series of clips, I thought I'd show you something that likes to grow in the dark. <laughs> if you've ever grown pansies before, or violas, the small pansies, the first, you know, first time I ever grew them last year was violas. And this year I'm growing three different kinds of pansies, which are listed, I think, below in the uh, plant list once again. They prefer to germinate in total darkness. I wasn't aware of that until last year, but this is my second year for doing it, and it really does work. This is not a Christmas gift, but it's the package that a Christmas gift came in. Get the lid off here. It's time to bring these out into the light. I don't know how well that shows up. They have germinated very well. I'll get one up and get it in a little closer for you, hopefully. Yeah. They're very yellow and, and a bit on the leggy side because they have not had any light. I don't know how pansies would germinate in the wild. Um, obviously they're not going to get total darkness in the wild, but anytime I buy a package of the seeds now it says that to, to germinate them in complete darkness just at room temperature, not even on a heating pad. So Those are a bit dry. I will water them today and get them under the lights. I've got the lights raised up to take this little clip and I'll lower the lights down on them and they will turn much darker green very quickly. Well, This is one of my three sunberry plants. I started these things so early because the seed was tiny as dust and I thought that'll take a long way, long time to grow. Oh boy, that is not so. These things grow like weeds. I said in the last video that I was going to pinch the top out, which I did, and I see it's Got some more growing. I'll pinch that out now too. And that really seems to have worked. It's side branching here, if you can see all of that. I had to put them into two gallon size uh, grow bags. I had some left from from last year that I didn't use. So I've, I've put the two larger ones in the two gallon size grow bags. And the third one is a runt. And that's it there. I don't know why that one is so much smaller, all planted, and I think they came up roughly the same time, but anyway, I'll keep it going. I suppose it'll take off eventually. But that is what the sunberry is looking like at this point. So any of you people who got sunberry seeds from me, I'd be interested to see how yours are doing. I'm anxious to taste these this summer, and I, I think in this two-gallon bag they will be fine until I can get them out. I plan to grow them in a a smart pot or something like that, a cloth, one of those cloth planters anyway, and probably inside of the hoop house. I think they like heat, at least we'll find out if they do or not, I guess, in a little while. I think this is a mustard, I'm not sure. I'm showing this so that Dave in Switzerland can have a look at it. I shared some seed with him and he's growing it as well. The variety is called Ruby Streaks Mustard, and it says it should have ruby streaked leaves. Well, I'm not getting that, but again, that doesn't surprise me. Under these grow lights, for some reason, red does not develop. I've planted red lettuce under the grow lights and it was green until I got it outside. So, Very deeply lobed leaves. I've never seen a mustard that looks like that before, so hopefully I'm not cultivating a weed. I just wanted to grow one in here to see what they were like and to taste it, and then I'll see whether or not I want to to grow more. I guess I could probably taste one there now, but they're still pretty small baby leaves. It's supposed to be very mild, and it says crisp in texture, good in salads. I grew several varieties of mustard a few years ago, hoping that I would like them as a green, and they were all too strongly flavored for me, even the ones that were supposed to be mild. It was like sitting down to a whole plate full of Dijon mustard. I like Dijon mustard, but not in large quantities. Anyway, Dave, have a look at that and tell me if it's anything like what you're growing. Well, those little things are the species uh, columbine, the wild, or, well, close to wild, anyway, columbine, Aquilegia vulgaris, I think is the Latin for it. Supposedly, this will be several shades, uh, all in the pink to mauve range, but several different shades of, of columbine. I don't know. I've sort of ignored my flower gardens in the past number of years. I seem to be concentrating more in the in the hoop house and the vegetable gardens, and the flower gardens have got overrun. But I've always liked columbines, and mine have uh, run out. These are a perennial, but uh, 
generally around here anyway, a short-lived perennial. It last a few years and then you, you've lost them and you have to start over again. Well, as I've been doing, I guess, in this last series of videos, I'd like to share a few more seeds with you. This may be the last time for the season. The Aquilegia vulgaris columbine. Um, this is supposedly the wild variety of columbine, which comes in a number of colors. Uh, the next, next photograph coming up here shows a selection of the colors. Not so sure about that double purple one, whether I have that or not, but this packet has the, all of the colors in it. And the last thing that I will share is the pansies, the Swiss giant variety. Not sure how many seeds I'll be able to share of each one. All that I've got left I'll give away, but should be enough for at least five packages of each variety. So just personal message me your address and I'll drop some in the mail to you. Thank you very much for watching. That concludes this little video.